One of Jimmy Hoffa's old enemies, a man questioned in Hoffa's disappearance last July, was indicted today in New York in a kickback conspiracy case involving Teamsters Union pension funds. The man is Anthony Provenzano, an official of the New Jersey Teamsters local. Provenzano and Hoffa quarreled when the two men were in the same jail. Provenzano is one of the men Hoffa was supposed to meet for lunch the day he vanished. Provenzano was picked up today in Florida on the conspiracy charge. Here are two reports. In Miami federal court, Provenzano's bail was set at $25,000. He will enter a plea on the charges later this month in New York. He refused to talk to reporters and returned to his Hollandale home just north of Miami, where he has been living since the week of Hoffa's disappearance. Provenzano is the most talked about figure in the Hoffa investigation. When Hoffa disappeared, Provenzano said he would do anything in his power to help his friend Jimmy. Many federal agents believe it was Provenzano's power which caused Hoffa's disappearance. But so far, they have been unable to prove that. They do have evidence that the Hoffa-Provenzano relationship was anything but friendly. That relationship came under investigation in Detroit in September when Provenzano was brought before a federal grand jury there. And while today's case has nothing to do with Hoffa, it is known the government, both in Detroit and New York, is trying to link Provenzano with the disappearance. Fred Francis, NBC News, Miami. NBC News has learned that Provenzano was a major target of a two-year FBI and police undercover investigation of racketeering in the New York City garment industry. To gather evidence against Provenzano and other suspected mob figures, the police and FBI set up a trucking company in this building, and they also opened up dress and coat houses. For two years, FBI operatives and New York City detectives worked in these businesses. Today's indictment against Provenzano is based on a meeting that the government says he attended in this building in Manhattan last summer. An FBI operative attended the meeting in the offices of the M&M Trading Company and secretly recorded his conversation with Provenzano and four Provenzano associates. The tape of the meeting runs for two and a half hours and on the tape, Provenzano is alleged to have demanded a kickback of more than $200,000 to arrange a Teamster mortgage loan. The loan was to be made to refurbish this hotel, the Woodstock, in Midtown Manhattan. The loan was never actually made. The government ended the Garmin Center investigation before more meetings could be held with Provenzano. No kickback was paid, and one FBI operative says the case was badly bungled. Federal Prosecutor William Aronwall said today that enough evidence was gathered to indict Provenzano and that the government had good reason to stop the investigation. The investigation was terminated because of what we view to be a real threat to the life of one of the undercover uh, civilians involved in this case. And although we would have loved to have been able to continue the investigation further, uh, common sense uh, dictated to us that it would be safest to terminate the undercover phase of the investigation so that we would be able to capitalize on the evidence that had thus far been obtained. Teamster officials in New York say that Provenzano, shown here with Hoffa, remains a powerful figure in the union despite his trouble with the law. And law enforcement sources say the kickback conspiracy case against Provenzano is weak because government lawyers were in too much of a rush to indict him. Norma Quarles, NBC News, New York. At the Detroit end of the Hoffa case, the government put pressure on one of Provenzano's New Jersey Teamster associates. Robert Hager has the story on how that was done. The government is trying to force a New Jersey Teamster official named Stephen Andretta to talk to a grand jury here. Andretta is business agent of Anthony Provenzano's union local, and his brother is one of those accused by an informant of participating in Hoffa's murder. But while the grand jury waited today, Andretta went before a judge to report that his lawyer is in a hospital with heart trouble. The judge told Andretta to get a new lawyer and show up tomorrow before the grand jury. Meanwhile, the government granted Andretta an assurance that he won't be prosecuted for his grand jury testimony. The grant of immunity is a government strategy to prevent Andretta from taking the Fifth Amendment before the grand jury. Government sources say Andretta must answer the grand jury's questions or face jail for contempt of court. And the, government the U.S. attorney, Ralph Guy, warned today that, as reported by NBC News last night, 
The investigation will take much more time. I'm announcing at this time that there are no, I repeat, no indictments anticipated in the near future in the Hoffa case. Guy did say, however, that new developments in the Hoffa case are significant and the pace of the investigation is picking up. Robert Hager, NBC News, Detroit.